channel so today I'm going to be showing you a one brand tutorial using wet and wild products only um, other than my Ardell lashes but those are my holy grail lashes um, if you do want to see that video I did just make a false lashes how to type of a video so go right ahead and watch that if you'd like to see how I apply my false lashes but right now I'm going to be showing you how I got this perfect face look only using wet and wild products so if you'd like to keep watching and see how I got this look then stay tuned okay so let's get started with this wet and wild look so I'm gonna be first going in with the wet and wild coverall primer it claims that it's supposed to refine my pores fill fine lines brighten complexion and even skin tone so I'm gonna go right ahead and put a dime to nickel size amount on my fingers and what I'm gonna do is just blend that into my skin make sure you get your forehead your chin and your nose that is gonna be what we call the t-zone I am starting to notice right now that it is very hydrating and moisturizing. I'm not sure just because this product is I think like $5, I'm not sure if it's really going to do the justice of a really good primer, but we will find out later on in the video. But it looks like right now that it did slightly even out my skin tone. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell on the camera, but I can. I'm not really sure about my pores since I do have large pores, so we'll see what when we have the foundation on and everything, if it does cover my pores and even everything out. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have two shades here with me. I have the Porcelain and Soft Beige. I'm gonna blend them two together just because they don't have that wide of range of skin colors for this type of foundation, um, but I heard really good reviews on it, so I really wanted to try it out. So I'm gonna go right ahead and take the color Soft Beige first. And open it up it does come with this little applicator which is kind of nice um, so I'm gonna go right ahead and apply this to my face and then I'll go in with porcelain as well just so we can add some lightness to some areas of my face but I am enjoying this application it is really nice just so I don't have to use my finger or a brush to apply it it just goes straight from the glass bottle to my face Okay, so there is the soft beige. Now I'm going to go in with porcelain, and it also has the same applicator. And I'm just going to put this on areas that I want lighter in my skin, or kind of just all over, just so we have the same effect from soft beige as well. And I love Wet n Wild makeup just because it is so affordable. I did go to Rite Aid and I picked all of this stuff up. And I will leave how much everything costs down below if you want to see. I'll also try to leave some links as well. So now that we have that, I'm going to be taking my damp L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to blend this all together. And what I'm starting to notice right now is that it is blending really well for just a $5 foundation. Um, I probably put <laughs> too much, but that's okay. But it's definitely medium to full coverage. So if you put as much as I did, you'll probably get about pretty close to high, medium to full coverage in your foundation. The color looks like it's matching pretty well to my neck. I wasn't trying to match my face skin tone because then it would have been way too light. Okay, so I think I added a little bit too much porcelain foundation, but that's okay. We'll go right ahead and bronze and conceal and everything in a little bit, so it'll all come together hopefully. But now I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Concealer, the Photo Focus Concealer, and it's in the shade Light Medium. They did not have the lightest shade. I tried looking for it at Rite Aid, but they didn't have it, so hopefully this will add some color back to my skin. We shall see. But this consistency right now seems pretty nice. I do feel like I have to keep dipping it into um, the bottle, but that's okay. I'm also going to put it on my eyelids so I can also use it as an eyeshadow primer later on when we do our eyeshadow. Just because I did not see a Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And now I'm going to go right ahead and take the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge again and then just go right ahead and blend it all in. This concealer does seem like it blends really well compared to other drugstore concealers that I've tried and the fact that this concealer is only like, I think, five or six dollars. That's really affordable. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this Coverall Wet n Wild um, powder and it's just a pressed powder in the shade Light. 
Um, also, I was noticing when I was applying my concealer and stuff I, and foundation, I'm not really a fan of this primer right now that I put on my face in the very beginning just because I feel like other primers, like my L'Oreal Lumi primer, does a much better job at just making my face look very iridescent. This is almost making my skin look too matte and I have pretty dry combination skin so if you have dry and combo skin, maybe don't go with that primer um, from Wet n Wild but it's doing us justice right now for this tutorial. So anyways, I'm going back in with this light um, powder and I'm just going to be taking this e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush and just dipping that in here, cutting off the patting, jeez I can't talk today, patting off the excess. There we go Haley, just get with it. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to be patting that all over my face. And I have tried this powder before, I'm not too much of a fan of it, but it does justice for the price point. I think it's about five, four or five dollars or so. But it is definitely making my face look matte, which I like. Perfect, so that does justice for that right now. Next I'm gonna be going in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. I'm so impressed that I just said that correctly right now. I felt like I was going to mess it up and I was getting so nervous, but Dulce de Leche. And it looks like this. It's super pretty. I'm going to be using this highlight right here. And I'm just going to be using this Morphe M438 brush and just putting that all in here. And I'm just going to be putting this underneath my eyes. This banana um, powder type of a shade is going to be highlighting the center of the face. I couldn't finish my thought. <laughs> um, but this powder is really nice. I feel like it's blurring out my under eyes, which I really like. It a little, It is definitely a little bit drying of a powder consistency, but I don't mind it for this palette only being like 5 or $6 for both shades, which is amazing. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. It looks like this. It's completely matte. It has no shimmer in it, which I really like because I don't like shimmer bronzers that much um, and I'm going to be taking my elf complexion brush that looks like this and I'm just going to be putting that inside tapping off the excess and you just want to start off light handed especially with bronzers that are a little bit darker than your skin tone just so you can build it up rather than putting too much on so I'm going to go right ahead and start by my um, top of my ear and then just move down in circular motions as I'm noticing right now, I don't know if it's the primer, foundation, or maybe that powder that we just put on, but it's making this bronzer look really patchy. Um, but I am liking the bronzer color. It's just not blending very well. Oh boy. Well, hopefully we can fix it up later. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just looks, I mean, it probably looks really nice on the camera, but in person, it's not doing justice I don't I don't know I don't know how I feel about this bronzer but it's doing what it needs to do for me right now so after that I'm now gonna be contouring with back with the um, contouring palette in the shade Dulce de Leche or in the palette Dulce de Leche Dulce de Leche and I'm gonna be now taking just this Target brush it looks like this it's just a small little definer brush or not definer brush it's like a contour brush and I'm just going to be putting my brush in to the dark shade, tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to make the cute little fishy face. And with the contour shade, you are going to want to put it right on top of the bronzer. But you're going to do this ever so lightly. And this is just going to define where your um, cheekbones are on your face. And then I'm also going to put it up on my temples. Just so we can add some more color up there. And then I also like to add it down by my neck a little bit just so we have that easy transition to our neck instead of just having the foundation and then our neck color. So I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I absolutely love this highlighter. I think this highlighter is like four or five dollars and it is the best drugstore highlighter I've ever seen in my life. It is so gorgeous. They have I think a couple different shades. But just like, I mean, look at that. It is just so pretty. Hopefully it'll focus on it. But anyways, it's such a pretty shade. Dropping brushes over here. And I'm just going to be taking my Morphe M501 brush. And I'm just going to be tapping that into the little palette there. 
And then I'm just going to be putting this, oh hello little hair. I am just going to be putting this on top of my cheekbones. I mean look at that glow for wet and wild and this only being like 4 or $5. This is amazing. I love this highlighter. I mean, hello, I am glowing. Put it on the other side. I mean, honey, look at this highlighter. Like, oh my god. Uh -huh. Put some on my nose. Cupid's bow. I could just bathe in this highlighter, you know? Just, just bathe. Next, I'm going to be starting off with the eyes. So this is pretty much the finished look for the face. I will do my eyebrows in a little bit. And then, um, yeah, so let's start off with the eyeshadow. I did pick up this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. It, hopefully you can see that. It comes with, I can't even tell, eight different shades. It almost looked like six. Apparently, I don't know how to do math. Um, but it's in the shade Comfort Zone. And all these shades, the only problem that I'm having with it doing an eye look is that they're all shimmery which is not my favorite when it comes to making an eyeshadow look, especially if I want certain parts matte and certain parts shimmery. So I'm gonna be going in with the contour palette again, but I'm gonna be using the darkest shade. And what I'm gonna do is just take this, little hairs, ew, ew, ew. Um, I'm just gonna be taking this definer brush that I got online, I think it was on Amazon, or this blending brush, not definer brush. And I'm just going to be tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to be putting this right in our crease. This is just going to be our transition shade. I also have not thought of the eye look yet. Uh, I'm just kind of winging it. So we will see how this turns out. Now you can totally keep the eyeshadow look just like this if you want. But I personally am going to go a little bit more dramatic right now. Um, so I'm going to be taking the Comfort Zone palette. And I'm going to be using the shade right here. It's like a lighter pink. It says eyelid actually. So I'm going to see if I can follow these steps. Um, and get the eye look that they're trying to give me. So I'm just going to be taking this Morphe G14 brush. It looks just like this. And I'm just going to be dipping that into here. Hopefully these eyeshadows are really pigmented. We will see. Just tapping off the excess. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. You know what? These shades are not bad for it only being, I think, like five, five or seven dollars for this whole little palette here, which is really nice. It is giving me that light shimmery effect, which is what I was looking for. And it's more of like a rose gold. I'm kind of happy that it's not super pink. It's more of a rose gold, which I'm loving. I absolutely love rose gold. Next, I'm going to be going in with that same palette, palette comfort zone. And I'm going to be using the two crease shades, this brown and this olive -y green. And I'm just going to be taking both of them on my M Morphe M441 brush. Tapping off the excess, and what I'm going to do is just lightly tap this in the corner, and then I'm going to go in and blend it in with another brush to put it in the crease. These shades, though, are really pigmented for your price point. Now, this look is not turning out exactly like how I wanted it, but that's okay. So I'm just going to be going in with this random Amazon blending brush and just blending that into the crease. Next, I'm going to be going in with the definer shade right here, which is this darker burgundy. Um, and I'm going in with the Morphe E18 little brush, like a little pencil brush. And what I'm going to do is just lightly put this in the corner while this shade is pigmented. Definitely go in with the light hand. Let me tell you that, especially with this burgundy shade. But I've been trying to get more out of my comfort zone, especially with this look, just because I'm so used to doing like neutral looks. I need to add more colors and stuff like that in my look. So if you guys have ideas, please leave that in the comment section down below. I would love to hear all your video ideas, or also you can send me looks. I know it looks crazy right now, but we're gonna go in and blend. I'm gonna take this same little black blending brush and blend it all out. Next, I'm going to be going back in with that contour palette, and I'm just going to be taking that brown shade that we had used with this Morphe M432 little definer brush, and then just tapping off the excess. And now, since I already finished the top of my eyelid, I'm going to be putting this in my lower lash line, just so we can match the top to the bottom. I will say, I don't know if I mentioned, but these eyeshadows, 
and even the contour palette don't have much fallout which is really nice um, sometimes with cheaper um, drugstore products you do have to you do tend to have a lot of fallout with the pigmentation and stuff like that just because it is so cheap um, but that was one reason why I love Wet n Wild just because even though it is inexpensive you are getting really good quality for it which is something that is really nice and that I really like. Next I'm going to be going back in with those two crease colors the brown and the green and I'm just putting a little bit on the outer port outer port outer part of my eye I'm still on the lower lash line just because I want to be able to connect this outer part to the outer V where we mixed those colors earlier. I'm going to be going in the last step or second to last step for our eyeshadow. Going back in with that burgundy shade on the same Morphe M432 brush and then just barely tapping that on the very, very outer port, <laughs> outer parts, not ports. Come on, Ailey, get it together. On the outer part of my lower lash line. Okay, right now I know you're thinking that my lower lash line looks a little bit heavier than the top, but once I put on eyeliner and lashes, it'll all come together. So don't worry. Um, but anyways, I'm now going to be starting off with my brows. I got the Wet n Wild brow pencil in the shade Burnett's Do It Better, and yes they do. I used to be a blonde, but right now I'm working up my natural look of brown hair um, but anyways I really like this type of pencil it comes with a little spoolie on one end which is really nice and a pencil this is great too for travel just because you have both of them and I believe it was like three or four dollars which is so inexpensive so I'm hoping that this product works for me we shall see but I'm just gonna go right ahead and just put the spoolie through my eyebrows to make sure that there's no foundation or powder in them and then we're just going to go right ahead and fill them in. Okay, well, that definitely made my eyebrows super dark. So I think that's too dark, but whatever. We're just going to roll with it right now. Um, so now I'm going to be going back in with that eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to be using the lighter shade up here. And just with a, um, just like an Amazon flat brush. And I'm just going to be putting this on my brow bone just so we can define that just a little bit more. Next step is going to be eyeliner. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Liner in black, and it is a felt tip. I normally love felt tips, so we will see how this goes. It will open. Oh my gosh, I'm not that weak. <laughs> oh, there we go. Jeez. I thought I had muscles. Apparently, I don't currently in this moment, but I'm just going to go right ahead and line my upper lash line. Wow, this is really, really black. Holy crap, look how black that is. And this thing I think was only like two or three dollars, maybe four at the most, but this is so black. I am so impressed with it in a while. Okay, you guys, I'm so impressed with this eyeliner. If you guys don't have it in your life, go pick it up. Wet n Wild Felt Tip Black Eyeliner. Go get it at Rite Aid, CVS, CVS wherever you can find it. This stuff is amazing. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but this is the blackest felt tip I've ever seen that is so inexpensive. And I normally can't like accomplish the best winged eyeliner, but this just helped me so much. I had so much control with this felt tip. It was amazing. So anyways, I'm now going to go right ahead and curl my lashes. This is not the Wet n Wild um, eyelash curler. I don't even know if they have one. So I'm just going to go right ahead and curl my lashes. And then I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara. And this is in the shade Black. Now I love waterproof mascaras. If you guys don't like it, they do have a wide range of mascaras. But I really wanted to try this one just because of the wand. Hopefully that focuses. Um, the wand looks amazing. So I'm super excited about it. And the packaging. I mean, can we please talk about this hot pink packaging? It is so pretty, and I just love the white writing on it, so go wet and wild. Love your packaging. But I'm going to go right ahead and just put mascara on my eyelashes. Back, I added my mascara to my top and lower lashes. I almost said lash line. <laughs> lower lashes. And then I also added my favorite um, false lashes, the Ardell Wispies. I did just make a video on how I apply my false lashes, 
So I'll try to leave that either up top in the suggested videos right up here or I'll leave it in the description box down below, but go check that out if you want to see how I apply my false lashes. I almost forgot my favorite part as well, which is the inner corner highlight. And how the heck did I forget that? That is like my favorite part of eyeshadow. So I'm going to go right back in with that brow bone color right here and just this Eco Tools smudge brush, just a little tiny brush. And I'm just going to be putting that in the inner corner and this is just going to make our eyes pop even more. Next up, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bare to Comment. It's like this, bleh, bleh. It's like this pretty nude shade, nude pinky shade. After the lip liner, I'm now going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Bare It All Lipstick. This lipstick, you guys, I mean, as you can tell, it is super, super dirty on the inside. That's because I love this lipstick. I've had it for so long, and it lasts for so long. And I think it was only like $1.99 or $2.99, and so were all their lipsticks. Some of their lipsticks are even $0.99, cents, which I can't even fathom how you can make something and only have it be $0.99, cents, but they're amazing lipsticks. Um, but this one, I think, is like their higher-end lipstick, and it's like $2.99. Um, but I love it. I'm just going to be taking this random lip brush. And I'm going to be putting some on the brush and then just putting it on my lips. And last but not least, I cannot forget to set my whole entire face and make all these powders just seep into my beautiful skin right now. Um, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I don't think it has a scent. Let's see. It has a little bit of fragrance, but it's not too bad. It's not like florally. I can't really put my... Um, mind to what it smells like but it's in this cute little bottle and I've used this before but I haven't used it in a while um, I think it's only maybe three or four dollars something like that and you get over an ounce which is really nice so spray it all over our face oh this feels amazing and there you have it, you guys. This is the final look of the One Brand tutorial with Wet n Wild. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, hit the red subscribe button and the little notification bell so you will get notified when my videos do come up next. Also, if you have any suggestions for videos, please leave them down in the comments down below. I would love to hear all of your guys' ideas. And also, since I'm doing this One Brand tutorial, comment down below your favorite Wet n Wild product. So I can go ahead and pick it up if I didn't use it today in this video. But other than that, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!